Hey guys, well, here is the skid steerer, the SSV-65. So anyway, this one's a demo, and it's actually kind of funny. Um, this is from uh, Avenue Machinery. .ca. You guys can check it out. I seen this machine on this uh, site, and it was all dolled up. It was not scratched up or anything like that. I thought it was a good, really good machine. And they actually, he said to me it has 300 hours or whatever it was. Well, it has more than that on it. It's been used and abused. Uh, who knows what's been done to it. Uh, but I mean, when I seen this machine come off the uh, off the truck, I seen the rims are dinged badly. Now, I don't know whether that's just cheap rims or what the hell it is. Uh, nectarines. These rims are all dinged up. So this machine's been ridden hard, 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 hard. So ridden hard, just like a hooker, <laughs> like a New York hooker. They're ridden hard and pretty wet. But uh, yeah, so I, mean, I don't know. This thing has way more hours on it than to tell me. Look at the bucket. Did beat the shit. So this thing's been used hard. So I want to talk about something. Um, now I tried um, putting my, uh, of course they say these uh, attachments are universal, the quick, quick attach, but something to keep in mind. I tried attaching uh, my forks and my bucket from a Kubota and actually on my Kubota I have the heavy duty loader on it it's a Bueller loader and it won't work the bucket I have over there and the, the fo loader forks will not work on here I tried to put it on here yesterday and it was actually half of an inch out so they wouldn't attach so that's something to keep in mind if you have attachments say for your tractor has quick attach on it Kubota or Bobcat sometimes attachments will not interchange I thought I was under the impression that they did, but for whatever reason this one doesn't. It's a bummer, so it's a no sale for me because I want to want to use my my bucket and my forks on my machine, right? So I uh, talked about it with the company. They got the salesman, and he says, "Well, he says, well, you don't understand it, but my uh, my loader." Well, actually, we'll show that to you in a minute. Hey, cat's been in here. <laughs> Kitty Prince, pop my cat. So yeah, um, like I said, my uh, my bucket, my forks will not work on this thing. So this is this is loose here. Someone's monkeying around in there. These are all loose. Yeah, the top of it off. So I don't know. This thing is been rode hard and put away wet. Not not too impressed with it. I'm not, I'm not touching it. It's, it's a demo, so. So it is what it is. Um, it's kind of, you know, I mean, all the bushings are in it are all good. I mean, they're well greased and everything. So, um, I wanted actually a, cl a closed cab. Personally, you can use a closed cab for a lot of different things, and that's something I'm interested in but whatever it is what it is right so um, but um, I can't operate it uh, my uh, I have really bad bad ankles and knees and I can't operate those pedals that are in there so you're actually gonna bring me another one with joystick controls and I'll try that out hopefully maybe it's a bobcat or something so otherwise it runs good yeah, for what it is it runs good has the uh, it has the high flow uh, hydraulics on it, so that's kind of good. I really like that. That's handy. So it's a new world, definitely something new for me anyway. Big bucket. So um, if I were to go this route, I definitely would, would get the. Um, I was actually thinking about getting a big rake grapple, but I think I would just get the bucket grapple. So it mounts on top and it's a big grapple in here, which is. Fun. So yeah, um, not uh, not it's just basic. 
basic basic machine and you know for I'm not paying this one here is actually going for 41,000 this one here which is more than I want to spend so Uh, the gas tanks in the door, I, not too thrill about that, but uh, you know, whatever it is, what it is. So, engine's clean, and I don't see any leaks on there, but the bottom of it is dirty. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I don't know. You know, it's, uh, they told me the guy this one came from a ranch or something. So, um, you can see the filters here. It says uh, it has, it's where it changed at 4, 494 hours. So, a bit of a lie. See, anyways, 300 hours. So, this thing could have well over, could have 600 hours on it. No one really knows. I don't know how to check it out and see. This is Mickey rigged. I don't like that. That's not a factory. I mean, if I, if I want to pay forty-one thousand dollars or something, it better be pretty damn tickety boo. And I want to see no fucking rust or anything on anything. Excuse my language. Um, you know, oil's black. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Uh, you know, I don't know how many hours on this thing. But anyways, go four cylinder. It's good. I think it's a four cylinder, four or three cylinder, something like that. So, the good engines, though. Yeah. So that's it's that there. Oh yeah, a good fart. So yeah, that's. Um, heavy, heavy, heavy duty. Oh, here's the thing here. Um, if you need to lift it up, you put this cap in here, in the cylinder, so it doesn't come down on you. That's that's good. Looks, looks like it's never been used. <laughs> so yeah, um, they're actually coming to pick it up. Uh, a couple of days, I guess. So, I'll show you something. I mean, the machine does everything I wanted it to do, really. But I'm not paying no $41,000 for it. Just, it's not what I really want. Not really what I want. It might be kind of dark in here. Whew, it's cooking. Frick. This year is a hot summer. My camera's still rolling. Yep. Anyways, this is the uh, M6040 Kubota. This one has the heavy duty loader on it. Not the Kubota loader. It's, they call it the uh, Allied, Allied Bueller. So, this big heavy loader has a different quick attach on it. It will not work on the skid steer, so it has a quick, uh, quick, quick, uh, quick connection on it, but it's different. So, bummer. I thought it was gonna work, but not gonna work. So that's not a selling point for me. <laughs> but this is a big, heavy loader on this tractor. It's actually almost too heavy for for what it is. Uh, I paid uh, 12 grand for this fucking loader. Uh -huh. Crazy, but I want to have you do the loader, right? But uh, yeah, so but it's get it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. So just keep in mind when you're buying a skid steer and you have a tractor with a quick attach, not always that the uh, the implements from your tractor are gonna work on your skid steer. That's something to keep in mind. So 
anyway, I just posted a little video on, on that. Um, otherwise, like I said, it's a good machine, but um, not good for me. So, everything I want to say is um, um, I'm probably going to be going with uh, more than likely uh, the L2501 or the 3301 tractor, a loader backhoe, and probably be getting a uh, rotavator, a sweeper, and probably the uh, bush hog mower, or skip out and later date get the flail mower from uh, uh, I think GPL Doors has some kind of thing to do with um, it's kind of direct or something like that GP he's my competition <laughs> he's a good guy I really like him he has good videos um, so anyways yeah so that's uh, that's that there uh, I'm so used to driving tractors and loaders I and mean, you know cat loaders and backhoes and stuff like that so uh, the main thing I like about the tractors is it's easy for me to get on and off the tractor. I'm so used to doing it, right? Even my little tractor is easy to get on and on off. And I'm used to controls and everything. And that's going to work good enough for me. For my little business, I'll be starting up tractor backhoe. Uh, mind you, um, if you're going to be going with the tractor backhoe, I suggest you just uh, either... Um, now I was looking at the Kubota uh, T TLB series. Those are really, really expensive. I mean, they're really. I mean, <coughs> I mean, you have to go on the Kubota web website and look at them. But I mean, they're a tractor. It's basically a little backhoe, right? The way I'm doing it is I'm taking a just a regular tractor, you know, the L series tractor, and putting a loader on a backhoe and a couple attachments, which it works good for my application. At a later date, I can upgrade and buy myself uh, a good use skid steer at a later date and modify to the way I want and a mini excavator. So those are things I can buy at a later date, but the base of it can be a little backhoe. So that's that's where I'm going with it. Skid steer, I'm just trying them out, uh, but I'm definitely be going with a little L series tractor, whether 25 or 33, we don't know yet. Uh, depends on the price, but yeah, definitely L series for sure. So, yeah. Anyways, I thought I'd show you the that there. I mean, there's no point doing a running thing on it because there's millions of videos on the uh, skid steers. But I thought I'd just tell you guys about the quick couplers. That if you have a big heavy loader, the Bueller loader on your tractor, uh, Bueller light Bueller loader. The forks or bucket or whatever attachment you have on your tractor will not fit on the uh, SSV series uh, skid steers. So anyways, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. There will be more coming up uh, soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye for now.